Hey YouTube, Dawson Ryder here with a review of SH Figure Arts Rock Bison from Tiger and Bunny. At long last, I have Rock Bison! Anyway, um, take a quick look at the packaging as usual. Uh, same style of packaging we've got with Tiger and Bunny. Uh, you got a picture of Rock Bison's figure right here. Picture of Antonio down here. It says Tiger and Bunny. Uh, Rock Bison SH Figure Arts. As you can see the back before the packaging was there, it says Rock Bison Antonio Lopez. On the top, Rock Bison again. On the side, we get like a cool picture of him and a background picture of him and his name. Um, this side, it just kind of continues the image from here, and this is his name again. And on the back, you've got all the poses you can get him in. It says, Bull Tank of the West, Rock Bison, Powerful Action Pose. Um, and then it says, we got like his sponsors here, which is Kronos Foods. And it says, Product Placement. And then you have Antonio here again. So, cool packaging. I really enjoy the Tiger and Bunny packaging. I feel like it really evokes the uh, charm of the series, or the style of the series, rather. As for what he comes with, he comes with only two sets of hands, the closed fists that I have on him now, and these giant open fists. These are the biggest figure arts fists I've ever had. Uh, it's freaking ridiculous. This is probably one of the biggest figure arts I've ever had. Um, and then he also comes with this extra tube part, which goes on the back. Um, I'll show you the other one in a minute. And then the Thomasy e. stand, which, they're decent Thomasy e. stands. It says Rock Bison, Antonio Lopez, Kronos Foods. It's kind of done in like a green, lime green color. Um, it's, it's sort of neat, but personally, if you watch my reviews, you know I really don't like Thomasy e. stands. Because I've pretty much broken all the ones I have, because the, it just simply can't handle the figure. Or when I'm just trying to move it, it's just kind of awful. And it just seems really unnecessary for a figure like him that's so heavy. But I guess it's neat to include it, and you can always just like do what I'm probably going to do if I find enough space. Is just take this off and have him standing on it or something, and it's just kind of a cool base. But now let's go to the figure itself, which is the most massive figure art that I have owned up to this point. Um, it's pretty damn huge. Um, let's see if I can get some like, balance here. Anyway, um, it's very, very well done. Just like Tiger and Bunny, it feels like it's worth the money you paid for it. He's a little bit more expensive. Um, and now I can see why. Um, the head sculpt is very nicely done, as you can see here. Um, it looks really accurate to the show. Um, it's not like it doesn't have a shiny and metallic -y quality like Tiger and Bunny had, but that's the nature of his design. But it looks very well here, very well. It looks very good here. You can see his visor here. Um, his horns come out nicely into a nice gold color. Um, as you can see here, this ring here, you can actually move up and down which is just kind of neat, just on the playability side, not playability, but anyway, and then here's the back, and then here's the tube that attaches here and down here. From what I gather, this is going to be, I hate to have these moments in my reviews where I don't know something, but from what I gather, you can put this tube or the other tube there, I'm guessing for whether you want movability, because I could find nowhere else on the figure to put this tube. So yeah. Um, shoulders here, you got lettering on it, which I don't know what it says. It says, it says Geo Coco or something. But yeah, that's cool, that looks good. Um, you got these golden, like, spirally spikes coming out of them here, which are actually um, separate pieces when you get the figure and you just put them on, but it's very easy. Obviously, that's to save box space. Um, and then chest armor here looks good. Nothing too much to say other than it's well done. You got his giant arms here, which are very well done with all the bolts. His hands here, and you kind of got this almost panelish thing that moves around here. And then his iron skirt, it's again very well done in this kind of army green with the brownish design here. Uh, they do lift up so you can move him around some more. His giant feet here with his spikes look good. Um, here's the overall back. Oh, there's his giant ass. Um, but overall just a, a very like uh, good looking figure. It looks very accurate. Um, his feet are die cast metal and he feels very heavy. Um, heavier than Tiger and Bunny but they all feel heavy in the way that uh, it definitely feels like you're getting your money's worth. Uh, for this figure, and it just feels like a quality product. Articulation-wise, you got a 360, like, uh, it's like a ball joint around here, but it's very, uh, I mean, it's movable, but it's a little bit hindered just by the nature of him being so big. Uh, you got a swiveling joint here. Uh, I believe it is a double double joint, which like most figure arts, but it's hindered by his muscles because he's just so buff. And his hands can move around in here, and I showed you these panels a second ago. Um, you've got swiveling here at the waist and at the chest. As you can see, I can get full range of movement at different angles and such. Uh, 360 head articulation can move up and down. Of course, it's slightly hindered, or actually kind of majorly hindered by the tube back here that I showed you. Um, as I showed you before, you can lift his skirt pieces up to get more movement. 
Um, these go up higher than this one does. Uh, 360 ball joint here, swiveling, double knee joint, swiveling at the foot. And he has um, toe action, but it's very different. It's almost like half the foot. So it kind of, it's kind of like a different joint because it, it like locks in place here. And then you like pull it out pretty much to get full range of motion, which is neat. It's actually kind of a unique design. But yeah, um, very, very well done. I really enjoy this figure. Um, it's just so massive and cool looking. And like I said, I hate to keep repeating myself, but it just feels like such a quality product. Like it was more expensive than most figure arts I pay for nowadays, but definitely worth the price. He just, he's such a great looking figure. Um, just to give you an idea of the size, here is obviously Rock Bison, and here he is next to Figuarts Kamen Rider Oja. As you can see, quite a big difference uh, from the usual 5-ish uh, inch scale, 6 inch. Um, so yeah, he's pretty massive. Um, if you're a Tiger and Bunny fan, in particular obviously a fan of Rock Bison, I can definitely recommend this figure. It's a very, very well done figure. Great details, no loose joint problems whatsoever, another quality product. Um, he is a bit harder to find. It took me a while to find this. I was lucky enough to get Tiger and Bunny thanks to my friend Shugun Shinobi uh, when it came out. Um, but this one, it was probably, if not the fastest, one of the top three fastest figure arts I've seen sell out. Now, that's not because they sold out so quickly, uh, like there was 12 and they went. Uh, it was like they put so little up because they make so very, they made so very little of these at the beginning. So it took me a while to get it, and once again, thanks to my pal Shukun Shinobi, I got one from HLJ. But it took me a, a while to get this, so uh, I definitely recommend it, but it might take you a while to hunt it down. Because um, as of right now, when this is being filmed, the Tiger and Bunny figure arts are a little bit harder to get a hold of than most figure arts, which is a little bit frustrating. But yeah, I still recommend it on the fact that it's a great figure, and while a little pricey, if you can get it like 20, 25% off like at HLJ or AmiAmi, I definitely recommend it, even for full price if you're a huge fan. It's just, you get what you pay for, in my opinion. I mean, Tiger and Bunny had a little more playability, but this is still a great figure to add to the collection. So anyway, until next time, uh, make sure you check out RidersRangeRambles.com for token news in the craziest way possible. And of course, while you're there, check out the Ramboards to discuss Tiger and Bunny or anything else token nerd related. Until next time, Dawson Rider, signing out.